Today I'm going to show you how to do a contour leaf drawing with sketching and gluing. First thing is write your name and teacher's name on the back in pencil. It will show up. Flip it over and then you're going to start drawing. I'm going to draw these leaves today. You have a choice of what you're going to, what leaves or flowers you're going to draw. I think I'm going to choose those three biggest leaves. And when you're doing this, you want to think about composition. So for composition, I'm going to make it so big that it touches at least three sides. And I'm also going to be overlapping as well. So when I'm starting, I am going to be using that contour line. I'm going to start by drawing the outside of it first. And then I'm going to fill it in with all those little veins and details. So I'm going to start big and go for the outside. And then I'm going to fill in with the inside veins, not every vein, because then that would be really, really hard to glue and I'd be here all day, but some of the main ones. I'm always looking at the leaf that I'm trying to draw. So when you're done, you're going to show Miss Fitzgerald to get checked off. And what I'm looking for is, does your composition touch three sides and do you have overlapping? So let's check. One, two, three sides have been touched and the leaves are overlapping. So then this one is good to go for the next step. When you're Using the glue bottle, open it up first, then kind of listen, squeeze it lightly to see if it's breathing. If it's breathing, then you're ready to go. You have no clogs. And you're gonna press lightly. So it's a light pressure, not gobs of glue. And I sort of use it like a pencil and I'm drawing with it and dragging that bead of glue over all of my pencil lines. Now these berries with my little experiment, I wanted to see how they looked in the glue. They're very, very small. So you can see that they turn out kind of blobby. So maybe very, very small details are not good for glue. So if I send you back and I ask you to adjust, it's probably because I know that teeny tiny details do not look good in glue. Close that cap and you can put that glue bottle away. And then this artwork is going to make its way to the drying rack. You can fit two artworks per rack.